Hey guys, what's up? What's up? How are you? Welcome to What's Cooking with Chef Noel. It's another looking for something. Oh. Yes, so let's wait for some more people. Hope you all have been a great day enjoying your day. Today we'll be making a sweet and spicy tin mackerel. I think I might do a spicy, sweet and sour, spicy, sweet and sour tin mackerel with some festival. Someone asked me, how do I make my festival, right? So a few people asked recently. So I decided that I'm going to make some festival today just to show you guys how you can get your festival Elsha style. So if you have been to Jamaica, you know what I'm talking about when I say Elsha or if you're a Jamaican, I'm sure you know about Elsha, right? So of course I want to know where you are watching from, tell me what dish you want to see me prepare next week, you know, tell me what you are cooking up, what's your favorite um, quarantine meal so far that you have prepared. Hey, welcome Lois, what's up? I'm making festival today, which you have asked me for, so welcome. You have asked for it and, you know, Chef now will always give you what you want, right? Alrighty. <laughs> So let's make our festival um, first. I'm gonna get my flame going for the festival. But I'm also making, I'm using tin mackerel today, guys, which I have already, you know, opened up in two and removed the bones. So that's done. And for the sauce, yeah. All right, so let's make the dough first, then we get to the sauce, then everything, right? Boom, boom, follow me, follow me. So, if you have your pen and paper or you're ready to take notes, here we go. Here we go, somebody jot it down. One cup of flour. Right, one cup of flour. Then I'm using quarter cup of cornmeal. So one cup of flour, quarter cup of cornmeal, right? So this is... It's going to be a very good festival. It's one of my favorite recipes. So one cup flour, quarter cup cornmeal. Hey, welcome. Florida in the building. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon sugar, and I'm using one and a half teaspoon baking powder. All right. And as usual, my little thing is when I'm making dough of any sort, I like to whisk all my ingredients together, right? So this basically incorporates some hair in it, so it makes it extra light. It's similar to sieving it, but I don't need to sieve my flour for dumpling. I do the same thing for fried dumpling as well, except for the use of cornmeal. Some recipe will tell you that you need milk, but you know, water is good, water is perfect. Um, I'm using ice water though, it's very, very cold from the freezer. And I'm using a little bit, if you can see, a little bit less than two thirds. Oh Lord, I'm holding it elsewhere. So I'm, I'm using a little bit less than two thirds, right? I need to get my, my oil going for the mackerel, so I'm gonna bread the mackerel. So, we'll come back to mackerel. And we'll just form a, a nice little dough with this. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome. We are back again. Make sure you like and share this video to your friends. So my hands are already washed and they make a nice little dough. But the thing is, you want to make your dough ahead of time, at all time. So if you want to make this on overnight, that's even better. A few hours work. So let's form a nice, neat dough. So if you're just joining, it's one cup of flour that I'm using. Quarter cup. Someone type this for me. Sheena, can you type? 
one cup of flour, quarter cup of cornmeal, one and a half teaspoon baking powder and sugar, one and a half teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon salt. You see, I'm using all the water. So my dough is not too wet and it's not too dry. You don't want to over knead your dough either, right? Hey, I can't call some of these names, you know. Hey, that's what Kitty Puss. <laughs> hey, someone have some name there, you know. And this is the dough. That's the dough. It's not too wet. So what we need to do now is put our dough to rest, right? So like I said earlier, that's something that you can do um, overnight or just for a few hours, maybe for like an hour, half an hour is good. Because once your dough is well relaxed, then it tends to be much lighter, right? Make sure you guys share in the video to your friends who want to see the first time. Hey, welcome, first timers. Any first timers here? Let me see the hands. We are here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. I'm in Toronto, so it's 6 p.m. for me. So I'm actually sharing the video now. Every week I pause to share the video, right? So that's what I'm doing. So I'm showing it to my page. All right, so that's all the way now. Welcome back. And for those of you who are just joining, I am making some festival with a spicy, sweet, and sour tin mackerel. So for those of you who, you know, you panic by during the whole COVID thing, even though we're still in COVID, but at the start of it, you have extra mackerel. You want to try something different with the mackerel. You tell the same old mackerel. I am doing a recipe that you can try at home, and it's easy. Easy, easy, easy. I'm gonna get my sauce going. At the same time, let's get the sauce going. Cooking with Jacob, hey, what's up? <laughs> so I'm adding some oil to the pot for the sauce. Hope you guys can see. Let me see the hands of those who like tin mackerel. Any tin mackerel lover here? Give me some hearts, if you like tin mackerel, give me some hearts of tin mackerel. So there, that's a recipe for the um, festival with two third cup water. Yeah, yeah, two third cup water. Let me see some likes for tin mackerel, likes of tin mackerel. Hey Jennifer, Ashley, how are you? All right, I see some answer tin mackerel. Yeah, all right. So this is some flour right here, cornstarch, which is gonna make it crispy. We also need to season this with some salt and pepper. All right, and that's all we need in this. Not too much seasoning, right? Let's make the sauce now. Bam. In this pot, we're gonna add some onion, garlic, and ginger. So just saute these get all the flavors. Let me get my thing on before we are. Tin mackerel, alright, tin mackerel lovers in the house, no problem. 
So this week is just a quarantine edition of making something light. And if you're just joining, I already made the dough for the festival, and it's a great recipe, Elsha style. So if you live at foreign and you miss Elsha now and then, this is a recipe that you can make at home with your Esco Beach fish. And you can always thank me later, right? And remember, you can follow me on Instagram at I am Chef Noel, my Facebook page as well, Chef Noel Cunningham. And the link is there above, right? My YouTube is there with some cooking videos. So what we need now is some pineapple juice and some pineapple. Dollar store. I mean it's a dollar store, right? Yeah, they already have some pineapple dice up. Okay, oh Sonia says shout out to our brother in Toronto. I'm gonna add some ketchup to this. So that's pineapple juice with some pineapple, some ketchup. Then I'm gonna, for the sour now, I'm gonna add some lime juice. You just add, add your cook to taste, right? I'm using a little vinegar, I'm using apple cider vinegar. This is a sweet and sour sauce coming together nicely. Sweet, sour, and spicy, right? There is no sugar in this yet because I'm going to use. You, can you see this good? Scotch bonnet honey. Scotch bonnet honey. Alright? So that's where the spice and the sweet are going to come from. Right? And then the sour now is from the the vinegar and the lime juice just for a little color a little soy sauce just a little I'm in the US do you have restaurant in Toronto oh no I don't I just do catering here in Toronto all right so we're gonna switch flame now I'm gonna fry the mackerel so we got the mackerel here already deboned some people don't take out the bone it's no big deal and if you want you can also use some cornmeal in this a southern style right like what they do, um, like what they do fish and I'm gonna just fry these now. So for people who say that they don't like um, thin mackerel, maybe they try this. I'm sure they'll change their mind and say, yo. So we're having fish on the festival today, right? But it's just thin mackerel. <laughs> this one, I'll save. We're having fish on the festival. If you'd like to see me prepare something next week, Drop it in the comment. Let me know what you want to see me prepare next week for you. This is the sauce for the fish it's going. It's perfect. It's good. It's good. It's sweet. It's spicy. And it's sour at the same time. So we need to lightly turn these. Woo. Can you see good? Yeah, man. Everything hiring. I've even used tin marker and I made rundown. 
You want to see me make rundown next week? Rundown. You can use sardine if you wish. Remember to share this video, guys. Share this video. Festival. You can smell it, right? Trust me, bad. So we're making sweet and sour tin mackerel. Sweet, so and spicy tin mackerel. Sweet, so and spicy. I'm gonna show you guys how crispy it is. Changing flames, changing flames. You see? Nice and crispy, right? So let's leave this over here. Let's make our festival. But then we're gonna add this to the sauce, right? But not too early, cause we don't want it too um, soggy. It's thin mackerel, it's thin mackerel. It's, it's in a can. So it's a jack mackerel. So I use a jack mackerel. I'm not showing a brand. <laughs> it's a jack mackerel. So we're making the festival now, and the recipe is up top, one cup flour, quarter cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoon sugar, one and a half teaspoon baking powder. Elsha style. You form a nice dough. And you see, I don't need to flour my hands, right? So that's how you know the dough is perfect. If you've been to Jamaica, you've been to the beach, then I'm sure you have tried the festival, right? And these fry for like five minutes. No problem. You see, I'm sweating away. Kitchen hot, hot, kitchen hot. So summer is here, and if you're eating outside, you know, you wanna make some festival, this is perfect. Oh Lord. Alarm is going off.
Yeah, this fire alarm is like that. They go up for the least. Okay, so these are the festival. They're easy, right? So this now is the tin mackerel. No, it's pineapple. It's pineapple. So that's it. So we're ready now to plate up our meal. Who need the first plate? Who need the first plate? No, I'm not left handed. I'm not. I am not, I am right handed. I'm, I use right hand, look. But I think, I don't know you've seen it. The glass of wine, perfect. So what would you have this with some lemonade? Pineapple juice, a cocktail, a beer. Talk to me. So it's a thin mackerel with flour with some with some cornstarch, some flour, salt, pepper, and then now we make our sauce, add it to it, and nobody kill until they say a thin mackerel. This is the sauce that came from it. I didn't use it because I didn't want the mackerel to have that raw, you know, that rawness to it. Rum punch, yeah. Now we're speaking rum punch with whole pa lime, right? Some whole pa lime. Sherry will say wine. Sherry will go hard pa man. Beer, yes, a nice, a nice light beer. So if you have never made festival before, you have seen it. I would always put some planting with this, it's a salad. Yeah. So let's make a quick salad in the meantime. So let me say these are these are already washed lettuce. Because I know there is food police who are, you know, just looking for something bad, which you know, which is good. You have an eye out for details. 
So I gotta be careful, right? Just some cucumber to that. A hey, big up. Mask oh mascaro. Alright, so we're ready to plate up now. So we need um our festival down. I'm using my fancy plate, Eller. So we got some festival down. I'm using about four, and they're, and they're not so big. The yeah, four is good. Then so we need a mackerel now. Where's my spoon? Right there. And that's a tin mackerel dish, guys. A little Italian dressing. You can use your vinaigrette or whatever you like. You don't know how to cook stew peas? No problem. I'll help you with that. I'll just put some green onion on this just for garnish. And that's the dish right there. So we got the spicy, sweet and sour tin mackerel with some Jamaican festival and a nice little side salad just to balance things. And you see how long it take? Just 30 minutes and it could be less. You see it? Fancy, right? You see it? Tin mackerel gonna lead. Your book is bomb. Thank you, Michelle. Yes, and my book is available on Amazon. And if you need a signed copy, you can message me on my um, page, Chef Noel Cunningham. And of course, I will sign your copy and mail it to you. So when you go to Amazon, it's there, Amazon.com, Amazon CA. It's what's It's Cuisine by Noel, a culinary journey. True recipes. And it, sometimes I, I call it What's Cooking with Chef Noel because that looks very delicious. Yeah. So. I almost named the book What's Cooking with Chef Noel and then I change it. So sometimes I call it that. Tin mackerel first class. Make sure you share this video. The best festival you ever, ever, ever have. Trust me. Elsha style. Elsha Elsha style. It's not too. It's not too heavy. It's not too heavy, you see? It's not too sweet, a nice balance. I did this tin mackerel recipe already when I was doing um, some hurricane um, article. Yeah, make sure you get my book, make sure you get my book, tell your friend, it's a great gift, you will enjoy it. It's fusion recipes, you know, stuff like that. It's very good, very good. If I'm, if, if I'm gonna say, oh, it's good, you guys are gonna say, oh. Tin <laughs> boom. Because I didn't cook it when I said that, but it's awesome, it's great, you know? And I use the scotch bonnet honey, which gave it that spice. Use ketchup, some, you know, vinegar. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you come back next week Hey, Jazz. Oh, Jennifer is in the building. Jasmine. How are you, Jasmine? 
people came last week and you put a little baking powder in it. Yeah, man. Baking powder is in it. One and a half teaspoon um, baking powder. Oh, soda. Baking soda. You can but use less. Because baking soda is much stronger. Right? So remember, you can follow me on Instagram at I am Chef Noel. On Amazon, the book is there. Save the book in your cart. So remember, even if you don't have the money now, save the book in your cart. And if you already purchased your book, please leave a review on Amazon. I need the reviews. Right? So next week again, we will cook. Tell me what you want me to cook next week. Someone said run down. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What should I cook next week for you guys? Should we bake um, bread pudding next week? Sheena, any idea? Alicia, any idea? Next week? Someone asked a stew peas. Or oh, stew peas, Smithy. Mm, let's see. Stew peas. You know, yo. Oh, no, I don't sell the scotch bonnet honey. Someone in Toronto sell um sell the scotch bonnet honey. She has a steel piece to lad God steel piece squad run out. Run down. Two run down so far. Two steel peas. One bread pudding. We still can make bread pudding. So we can always start with a bread pudding in the oven. Then we cook something else. Next week. Next week I want to stay on one hour next week. One hour next week. I, fried dumpling. You want fried dumpling? I'll just make festival. So bread pudding next week for sure, sure, sure. Bread pudding for sure. Stew peas. Seafood stew peas or regular stew peas? Have you guys ever tried our seafood stew peas with like um, shrimp and stuff in it? You make bread pudding from the book and it was good. Bless up, Smithy. All right, so stew peas together now. With the okay, internet connection. Internet connection, sorry about that. Yeah, so stew peas next week. No pork, I don't eat pork. Chef don't eat pork. Somebody says seafood stew peas sound good. All right, seafood stew peas. All right, let's do seafood stew peas. Let's please, let's do steep, um, seafood stew peas. Then I have some shrimp and I can get some more seafood. Yeah, so let's do that, okay? So see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Chef Noel. YouTube, I'm there. Noel Cunningham. My chef page, the link is there. Tamarin, no one ever put tamarin in my stew peas. The link is there for my Instagram and my Facebook. So follow me where I, you know, I cook on my chef page um, most days and stuff like that. Remember to like the page jamaicans.com, share this video to your friends, and I'll see you next week. We make stew peas, bread pudding, I will do a nice coconut rice with that, right? Bless up.